placing keynotes. We have three types of keynotes in Autodesk Revit architecture, and that is the element, the material, and the user. The element's going to annotate building elements. So the tag goes out and reads the keynote assigned to that particular element and fills it in. To do this, uh, we're going to go up into our uh, annotate tab. We're going to go over to our keynotes. And in our keynotes, we're going to go down and we're going to go to the element keynote. We click on the element keynote and it says click an object to tag. And notice I have different uh, types here. I have a, just the number or I have the keynote number in a box that's large, keynote number in a small box, or just the text. I'm going to go with a small and I'm going to hover over the, it says click object to tag. I'm going to hover over this wall and I'll pick on the wall and then I'll drag it out to place the tag. And I'll put the tag here and then I can also uh, click to place the tag here and then it'll pop up and say hey you know we haven't found the particular um, division or item in here it's not loaded uh, at this point for our walls so you know let's say here I have uh, some wall material here and then I'm able to go through all the different divisions and find the particular uh, wall material that I'm looking for so in here I got wood framing and so in here I'll come along and say alright I'll go with a uh, existing studs uh, and I'll say that's an existing stud right there or I can go down and say it's 2x4 framing and so I'll go 2x4 framing and it pops in there uh, the 2x4 framing uh, number and it's in division 6 and then it's you know uh, it's placed into the which division down the line so I can come in here now and do something very similar uh, once again I'll go to uh, annotate I'll go to keynote and go by element and I can go and pick on the door I'll drag it over And I'll place and it'll say, All right, what do you want? Hmm, well, I need to find doors in my list. Um, it didn't show up, so I need to come in and find uh, those types of materials. Uh, so I gotta hunt through them and say, What do you want? And I'll go with openings and I'll have wood doors, and I'll make it uh, in this case. Uh, you know, make it a one and three quarter inch solid core door. I'll say OK. And so now I'm in division eight and then my subdivisions of that particular one. So then I can go look on my sheet of, and it's a booklet of all of my uh, uh, specifications, my construction specifications, and look up all about a solid core door if I need to. Um, we also have a couple different other types here we have a material keynote and a material keynote is going to show us the exact material of something uh, you know in, in like we have a exterior wall uh, let's say I'll throw in an exterior wall here and uh, I'm gonna go and say let's go with some sort of uh, let's go with brick on CMU wall right here and I'm just gonna draw one in let's go this way okay and uh, slide over here and now uh, in my wall here uh, and I'm gonna set my uh, I'm gonna set my detail to fine see I got all the different parts of the wall here so so over here I got different parts of the wall I am actually gonna go into my annotate I'm gonna go to my keynote I'll go to my material and then as I'm going on the material here you, you can find the different types of material and so I'm gonna go and grab onto this material I'll pick here I'll drag it out I'll place it and I'll uh, let me just drag it out a little 
more here. I'll place it and it says alright what kind of materials do you want? So uh, and then I gotta go in there and say you know oh that was masonry alright well that's my masonry and it was uh, uh, you know common work results for masonry and I come in here and say alright you know which one was it? I'll say it's a unit masonry and uh, so I can go in here and pick which type of masonry it is that I'm looking for um, and uh, so I'll come in here and say oh it's a clay it's a brick and so there we go we'll go with a standard brick 3 8 joint all right and now I'll pop in the number of division 4 and then the subdivisions in here and uh, so placing the keynotes uh, is uh, is done in our annotate tab under the keynotes we have three different types we have the define the material identifying the element and then we can create our own user keynotes uh, which we can uh, develop ourselves and uh, we have our different types of keynotes we have four basic types uh, of keynotes that we can use we generally prefer the boxes uh, small or large boxes that seem to be the most commonly used.